Today, um, we will be sharing on some of the M365 update. So basically, uh, we will be having our webinar for our CSP customer. Uh, means for our SRKK CSP customer, we will do it every two months uh, once. Every two months, we will do it one time for our webinar. So um, today, to update mainly, we will focus on few point, uh, on new some new update from M365. So basically, we will take about 45 minutes to one hour to finish the, the for today topic. So I will pass to Izab. So he was sharing uh, what's the new update from M365. Yeah, thank you. Izab, right. I'll pass to you. All right, thank you, Zihun. So yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, hopefully you are doing great. Uh, first of all, I really appreciate uh, your time uh, to join our, our session today. So hopefully by the end of this session, you able to catch up uh, uh, and getting uh, some information, uh, valuable information for your organization right so as uh, Zihun mentioned earlier the objective for this uh, so-called webinar or, or session that we conducted is mainly the objective focus on our existing customer or we call it as a CSP customer so how we keep in touch with all our existing customer uh, by having uh, this session so uh, in case you miss out any previous session uh, just be advised that we going to do this uh, perhaps uh, twice a month or, or every month or, or every two months once so in case you miss out on the previous session you always have the opportunity to join again uh, next month all right so without further ado a little bit of announcement uh, before we start so in case you are just join us, uh, joining in, uh, please mute your microphone and turn off your camera as soon as uh, you're joining this webinar. Uh, in case you have any question and concern along the way, along the, the, the presentation, uh, feel free to drop uh, uh, your concern and question in a chat uh, box over there. So uh, this is uh, to ensure a smooth uh, uh, presentation during during the process uh, and then we will get, uh, try our best to get back to you uh, during the q and a uh, session all right so uh, just a disclaimer this webinar will be uh, recorded for internet quality and training purposes so in case you require a recording on this one or you will uh, you need the this uh, slide and materials feel free to us uh, from us later on all right all right so for today uh, agenda and topic all right in this session uh, i will be sharing to all of you uh, uh, the first one is regarding microsoft 365 updates uh, about new name uh, about the features uh, what uh, is the uh, new name that Microsoft uh, 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 patch up uh, during this year of 2020. And then the second one will be Microsoft 365 versus Office 365 licensing. So I believe most of you might be wondering, eh, what is the difference between of these two after Microsoft changing names, right? Uh, what will be the features? Am I getting any uh, new features or is there any features that missing from my uh, existing subscription? So we will be discussing about that as well. And then I will be also covering the five big new Microsoft Teams features and a little bit announcement on that one. And also we will be covering on the SharePoint workflow road, uh, and roadmap. So I believe uh, if you all have uh, uh, utilized SharePoint on Office 365, uh, this uh, announcement will be beneficial for you. And just to take note uh, on this one. All right. So let's start it with our first topic. Uh, we'll be discussing about M365 and what's new about it. And uh, I believe uh, if you are frequently going through your M365 portal, you might be uh, recognized or you might be noticed that the name is already changing, right? 
So uh, effective on April 21st uh, onwards this year, Office 365 subscription for small and medium-sized businesses, which means uh, 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 if you are currently subscribed to Business Essential, if you subscribe to Business Premium, or you have a Office 365 Pro Plus subscription, so there will be an adjustment on the naming. All right. So instead of uh, going with a old name, Microsoft do a slight changes and rebrand the name to become part of uh, M365 family. All right. So having this way, you will notice that if you previously subscribed to Office 365 Business Essential, uh, you're going to have a new name, uh, which is Microsoft 365 Business Basic. OK, so if you own uh, Office 365 Business Premium, the new name will be uh, M365 Business Standard. Same goes uh, to the Office 365 Business and Office 365 Pro Plus. The new naming will be standardized to M365 Family and the new name will be Microsoft 365 App. OK, uh, so you might be wondering, um, is there any features missing from my uh, uh, existing subscription after this uh, uh, name changing by Microsoft, right? So the, the straight answer for that, no. You will have whatever you have currently. It's just the name that been changed. So in case you have a business essential previously, this will be the uh, service uh, included, uh, same as before. All right. So if you are on Business Essential, which is doesn't come with uh, Office 365 client or Outlook, uh, Word and uh, Excel desktop version, so you're still going to have the same subscription. It's just the name is changing. All right. So if you have a Business Premium, the new name is standard, and you get all these features same as before. All right. So you might be wondering as well, why Microsoft changing the name? Why, why not remain it the same, right? So as uh, uh, Microsoft introduced uh, the new feature, Microsoft, uh, a lot of uh, 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 new subscription coming on uh, to onboard uh, the Microsoft 365 family. So uh, that is why Microsoft want to standardize everything to make sure uh, the message, the features, and what they want to offer is uh, very clear to all of their customers. All right. So that is why the name is changing. Okay. So in case uh, you are on the enterprise plan, all right. Just now we are talking about small and uh, medium businesses, but in case you are on enterprise licensing, so uh, enterprise licensing include uh, Office 365 E1, Office 365 E3, E5, F1, A1, and all of uh, 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 the family, as you can see on my screen, the name for enterprise license will remain and there will be uh, no changes in the naming at least uh, uh, for now perhaps in the future might be changing to a new name all right so uh, yeah uh, enterprise plan will be remain so um, just to make sure you are not confused right um, enterprise plan and uh, SMB plan so the naming is different already but for enterprise plan, you will have Office 365 for enterprise and you also going to have Microsoft 365 enterprise. So how does it different from each uh, one? All right. So as you can see from my screen. Uh, sorry. Yeah. OK, as you can see from my screen, if uh, the red color will be Microsoft 365 F1, uh, the yellow color will be 365 E3, and the blue color will be E5, 
and the red one will cover Office 365. Okay, so if you are currently on Enterprise License and you are on Office 365 E3, so you will have uh, this option around this box. So uh, if you E3, you will get some uh, and full features of Office 365 F1. All right. And also you will going to get uh, the EMS or the security for E3 and also Windows Enterprise. Okay, the main difference over here, right? Uh, between Office 365 Enterprise and uh, Microsoft 365 Enterprise, the main difference is only on the EMS portion. So what does EMS mean? So uh, to, to, to simplify everything, EMS is uh, for enterprise mobility plus security. So uh, uh, in, in short, all the security features uh, on, 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 on M365, that will be an additional to Office 365 E3. It just, uh, that security is different. So in case you are talking about, uh, I want to implement some uh, some security update or I, I have some concern on security to cover up the data of your environment. I want security protection for a device management. I want a security portion of uh, endpoint management. I want my data to be protected. So how are you going to have all these features bundled up? You need to subscribe to M365 E3, for example. So all the security features are patched up to a new subscription. Unlike Office 365, it's only focused on the application, on email, on the uh, OneDrive, Teams, and all, all right? So this will be all the features uh, different between the, the Office uh, 365 plan and M365 plan. Uh, same goes to here. If you see, uh, if you uh, getting uh, M365 E5, which is the blue box over here, you will be getting all of uh, features inside Office 365 F1, Office 365 E3, and M365 E3 as well. So yeah, uh, cut short, everything related to M365 is the way Microsoft strengthen up their securities, right? So if you are interested to look into what uh, M365 can do for your environment uh, with the objective of strengthen up your, 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 your uh, security, uh, feel free to revert back to us and then perhaps we can propose you uh, which of the features inside M365 will be beneficial to your uh, environment and your requirement. Okay. And then uh, the next one will be uh, what's new on Microsoft Teams. As you all uh, aware and I believe everyone have started uh, extremely used Microsoft Teams back uh, during the uh, MCO period, uh, starting from uh, March. So I believe uh, as we started to use it, I believe everyone keep asking Microsoft, hey, I just noticed these features is not here. I just noticed I want these features to be available. How come Microsoft or how come uh, Teams uh, didn't have these uh, features yet? Uh, so to answer to that, Microsoft do a very hard work in the back end to make sure all the feedback from all customers around the world, they are able to deliver it uh, on the new update. So let's take a look. What is the features update coming on uh, on 2020, right? So uh, the first uh, one will be, uh, I will not be covering everything. I will select uh, five uh, uh, main uh, updates, but uh, just to give you an overview, this will be uh, all the new features coming in 
on year 2020 all right so you will be getting a blur effect on ios you can have the live caption uh, that working on your ios and android device all right all right previously uh, the live caption only available uh, through a uh, desktop uh, 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 teams so if you are connecting to to, to uh, ios uh, or android device this feature is missing so right now the features is already coming in into your your microsoft teams and you can now share system audio so this will be benefit for you uh, to share uh, what you hear to your recipient for example you are playing a video and you, you do a, a conference call you want to, you know, the people on the other side to see uh, what content or what video you are playing you can start sharing the audio system uh, on your device okay and then you can end the meeting for all participant all right so all this uh, behavior right Previously, uh, you might have an issue for this one. For example, this one, end the meeting for all participants. You might notice previously, if you on a meeting, uh, you are the organizer and then you left the meeting or perhaps the meeting is already ended. Um, you left the meeting and still someone uh, that perhaps I didn't, didn't end the meeting or, or away for a while, uh she or he will be left in the meeting until he uh uh, uh clicking uh, the 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 uh, leave button all right so in the new coming updates if you are an organizer you, if you end the meeting all uh, member or all the participant inside the meeting will be automatically uh, uh end up and disjoin from the meeting and, and then also the new features also call recording so this one um, i believe microsoft have uh, improved it uh, from time to time regarding the uh, call quality and then uh, uh, the flexibility and the the uh, security on the recording portion all right so we have touched this one on our previous sharing as well but just to recap again, in the call recording uh, on the new uh, latest update, you can have the flexibility to, to make sure who can record the call and who cannot record the call. So in case you missing this uh, option and you want to know uh, uh, more about it, uh, perhaps we can share the previous recording on our previous webinar. All right, and then uh, download participant and attendees leads. So if you conducting a large scale of meeting, right, and you want to track uh, on the attendance list, this feature is coming right away to you as well. You can have it. And then we have a large gallery view. We have a multi-window pop-up uh, chat. And then we have a raise hand to get the mood meeting attendance list increased to 300. And then some background uh, effect uh, enhancement to this one. All right, so let's take a look at top five of uh, features update in uh, Microsoft 365 uh, Teams, okay? Uh, the first one will be the meeting and calling. So if you aware, uh, previously, if you are a hardcore user of Microsoft Teams, you might be seeing only four pictures that will be showing uh, if you are conducting a meeting or so video call. So those, for example, you have a 10% in a meeting those uh, who who are actively speaking or actively presenting or actively talking uh, their face will be on the top four list all right so yeah if you 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 have uh, if you are using other platform they have these features where you can uh, see everyone face right so yeah of course uh, the, the features now coming into your uh, Microsoft Teams and you can benefit with uh, three plus uh, three uh, uh, video call all right at the moment okay so this will be beneficial for you in case you want to see everyone face and you want to know who uh, is talking and who is presenting okay 
So uh, that one is the, 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 the meeting and calling. And then Microsoft also have done some uh, uh, enhancement on the background effect, uh, focusing on iOS as well. So this feature is already coming to iOS and then you can have this background effect as well uh, in your desktop because, uh, you know, uh, during this time, right, uh, a lot of us might be at home and you want to hide uh, some uh, background that is not nice to see or perhaps you are outside and a lot of people uh, are going through at your back and you want to hide it. Uh, this feature is already here. And actually, uh, uh, you can have uh, a customized background effect. All right, so uh, you can yeah design by yourself and then you can put it as your uh, standardized template or perhaps in an organization, uh, uh, you want to standardize everyone to use uh, a background template. Uh, example, your office backdrop or whatsoever, you can do that as well. So in case you 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 going anywhere or you you conducting uh, you conducting any training or any uh, meetings, everyone will have the same background. So that's cool, right? So yeah, these features is already available for everyone. And then the uh, next one will be the share system audio. So if you are conducting a live event as well, you can have this feature. Uh, uh, same goes to the, the normal uh, uh, meeting session. This also uh, included as well. So if you are sharing a slide, you can see on the bottom there's a, a checkbox buttons to include system audio. So whatever audio or, or video that you are playing on your device, you can actually share it to uh, the participant as well so that they, 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 they can hear it uh, and understand it, uh, uh, everything that, that you share on your machine. And then uh, this is the end meeting for all participant. All right, so as an organizer, uh if you uh, already finish up the meeting and then uh the organizer can end the meeting so uh, i give you uh, some example why this features is very important and one and then why microsoft uh, uh, uh doing this right so uh previously the problem is if you are recording you started a recording for example i am the organizer of uh, microsoft teams and i i am doing a meeting and i want to record the the meeting session right so as an organizer i record the session and then for example uh, for one hour and then after finish up the meeting i want to uh, leave the meeting as the meeting is already ended but then as the organizer i left the meeting but there's still someone in the meeting uh, right so this someone uh, as long as they are not leaving the recording will stay still uh, do its job until the last person is leaving the meeting. So of course, this situation is, is not, is, is not uh, uh, acceptable, all right? So that's why as an organizer, uh, Microsoft has, has, has patched up this uh, to make sure if the meeting finish, the organizer and the meeting, everyone will be uh, ended as well and the recording will be stopped automatically so yeah this will be very helpful uh, for you in case you are uh, really uh, do a lot of recording session okay and then another features is a uh, download participant or attendee list yeah this features a lot of people are really excited to know and really excited to have Okay, because um, whenever you conduct a, a, a meeting or perhaps you conduct a webinar or perhaps you have an important uh, CEO message or you carry out a town hall, you want to keep track all the attendance lists and you want to know 
who is participate and who uh, unable to join the session, right? So previously this feature is missing, but right now you can have uh, the list and you uh, it's available for you to download it, all right? So um, uh, just for your information, uh, all these features that I've have been sharing, what's new, and then uh, all these features that are coming into Microsoft 365, it is already started to rolling out to everyone, okay? But in case you don't have these features, what is your action, all right? First of all, it's very easy. You go into your Microsoft Teams and you uh, click on your icon, you will find a check for updates. So you need to click on it and make sure you have the latest Microsoft team, all right? Uh, but we have seen uh, in some scenario, uh, even though you, you click on the updates, but you, uh, unfortunately there's no, yeah, it, it's saying that, that your Microsoft Teams is on a latest version and there's no update uh, coming in. So if you are on that situation, uh, uh, just uh, uh, keep calm, and 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 perhaps uh, in, in in another one week or two weeks, uh, the the updates will coming into you. All right. So yeah, same goes to any updates. For example, you are an iOS, uh, iOS you have or Android. Uh, if the new features coming in, of course there will be uh, some transition between country and uh, perhaps on region uh, and perhaps on the model uh, device of your hardware all right so of course there will be a slight delay on that as well but uh, in case uh, for this one the the one that i'm showing you the download a participant list uh, for this one actually uh, there's a some configuration uh, needed to be configured for your tenant in your Office 365. So in case you need help on this, feel free to, to, to send your concern to our help desk and, and the respective engineer will help you uh, to configure this uh, in case you didn't get it uh, automatically uh, by, by uh, through uh, updates, okay? To download the, the participant list. Uh, and then the participant list, uh, it will display on a CSV format at the moment, all right? So, yeah, uh, in the future, perhaps this uh, attendance list will be automatically available on your uh, dashboard in Office 365 uh, so that you can see it online uh, uh, data, right? But currently, you can only have the option to download in and keep it on your offline copy. All right, uh, this one is the most exciting uh, features that everyone uh, excited and hyped about. So in the next uh, couple of weeks, Microsoft will uh, uh, have these features coming into you, all right? So instead of you only have the uh, three by three uh, view, you can now have the seven by seven view. So if you are conducting a large uh, meeting or perhaps a town hall meeting, so everyone face will be display over here. So yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, very long awaited uh, features. So it will be started to rolling out uh, setting by this week. Okay, so in the next couple of weeks or perhaps next month, you will be getting this already, right? And then the, the new features also, together mode. Uh, this one, if let's say, right, you are having a meeting, for example, in a meeting room and you're turning on your camera, the, the camera actually have the ability uh, to see your background and sort out merge it all together to uh, for all person in the meeting room so that it can display like this. 
uh, this example uh, were given uh, uh, for a student in, in a, a, a faculty, for example, they have they are on 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 the the uh, sitting on the chair, right? So if everyone turning on his camera, uh, it can merge all the the uh, background into one, and you can see everyone is uh, actually sitting uh, in the uh, uh, on on the chair, right? So this is a very one uh, cool uh, features coming in together as well. Right, together mood. Okay, so that's pretty much on the Microsoft Teams update. All right, moving on to the next uh, one, which is uh, one of the very important uh, announcement and message we want to, to deliver to all our customer uh, is regarding a SharePoint. Okay, so uh, I believe some of you might notice this and some of you might not aware of this. So yeah, the objective, uh, that, that, that is the objective why, why we conducted this training to give you sort of the, the, the clear message what is going on. So as you can see from my screen, starting November 1st, 2020, Microsoft will begin to remove the ability to run or create SharePoint 2010 Workflow, uh, workflows from existing tenant. So in case you are actively uh, use SharePoint and you are utilizing the, the 2010 workflows, so these features will be uh, removed and uh, or in other words, it will be end of life, right? So uh, how it will affect your tenant, you will not uh, going to 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 all your your current workflow will will, will not uh, able to run as it should be. Okay, so in order to do that, this this will be the timeline that we are going to share. Uh, the two thousand ten workflow will be retired, and then uh, for uh, the ability uh, uh, for two thousand ten. Uh, will be turned off for newly created tenant. All right. So if you are on current, uh, currently using uh, current customer or you have a current tenant, uh, the ability uh, to run the SharePoint 2000 workflow will only take effect on 1st November. But uh, starting 1st August, if you are newly creating a new tenant, it will uh, the, the features will be turned off automatically uh, just to take note on this one. All right. So what happened to your uh, environment, right? So um, if you are using uh, this uh, SharePoint workflow 2010, you actually have two options, all right? Either you uh, uh, migrate, or either you 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 utilize the SharePoint Workflow 2013, or you use the Power Automate platform, right? So this is the two option that that you are using because uh, some some customer right they they have a SharePoint Workflow 2010, and they have also some of the features they also they are running on. SharePoint uh, workflow 2013. So in that case, if you don't want to uh, 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 burden up your 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 work or or, or uh, to follow the process, you can migrate first the 2010 SharePoint workflow into 2013 first. So that if everything have uh, smooth, everything has gone very well, then after that, you considering to upgrade from 2013 to Power Automate. But of course, uh, if, you, uh, if you want uh, the best practice or the best solution for you to have is convert everything, uh, either it's a 2010 or it's a 2013, convert in straight away to Power Automate to really enjoy the full benefit and features that are available from Power Automate, okay? So uh, it's a, a very uh, 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 useful and meaningful uh, features because uh, Power Automate include an intelligent automation, okay? So uh, if you, unlike the 
previous uh, 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 workflow, uh, a lot of features that you need to do uh, manually by having this uh, Power Automate, you have the AI agent built in together as so, well. Uh, I will not touch everything on this one, uh, but uh, one, one scenario that I can share to all of you uh, is uh, if you are actively using uh, Microsoft uh, Workflow 2010 or 2013, for example, uh, uh, people in your organization apply for leave, right? So, uh, for example, uh, Ali and also Abu, right? Ali apply leave and Abu required to approve the uh, leave uh, uh, application. So the traditional way is uh, it send the message to Abu and Abu required to approve it. But uh, how does the process look like? Abu required to click a link and navigate to some website and then need to approve uh, on that website uh, in SharePoint to be uh, specific. But if you are using Power Automate, instead of clicking any link or instead of navigating to any link in your SharePoint, you can straight away approve the uh, leave application inside your email. All right, so you don't have to 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 go anywhere. It's go straight to your inbox, and you just approve from there. So that is the one of the beauty of uh, Power Automate, and how it can help you to speed up the process and to 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 uh, reduce the complexity for you to click here and there, right? So that is one of the example uh, 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 benefit that using Power Automate. So uh, for this one, I believe if you are actively using SharePoint, this is not an easy task uh, by just click or, or, or one day job. So uh, if you have uh, this issue, or you are eager to know more about the updates and you want to understand further on the Power Automate, all right, feel free to uh, get back to your, to your uh, account manager. And the meanwhile, also, we have actively uh, delivered this message to all our customers as well to ensure they start upgrading before uh, first off. November. All right. So in case you have any question regarding this Power Automate, uh, you can drop on the chat or press in the QA session. Uh, our engineer will, we will, uh, that joining this session that on the technical parts, so they can, they, they, they can answer towards your question as well. Okay. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for, for this session. It's very straightforward. Uh, but uh, Isa, Isa, I think you got one question. We have one question from Michelle. Can you yeah. see on the chat room? This is one question from Michelle. Uh, let me quickly do. If I am the organizer, instead of end the meeting, can I leave the meeting? Um, if you leave the meeting, uh, and you are the organizer. It should be okay. It should be no problem. Uh, the scenario that I just given uh, for you just now is on the recording part. Okay. So in case you do the recording part, uh, people still in the meeting, it will continuously uh, record until the person left. Yep. Um, so far, any other question? Anyone got a question? Sorry, Isa, are you sharing the next section? When will be our next uh, webinar? Yeah, actually, it's, uh, it's on the slide. Yeah, this one. Um, I think you can just. Uh, but it's okay. We proceed first with the Q&A uh, in case anyone uh, have a question. Yeah, I see uh, Ms. Sangita have a question. Uh, hi, is that? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Instead, of, mm. instead of typing, I just let me ask straight lah. Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, regarding the update, right? Microsoft Teams, so that mm -hmm. uh, we can see all the updated features to be added in. 
Um, so uh, I need to do the update through Teams uh, admin. Uh, no need to. Clear. Uh -huh. No need, no need to to upgrade in uh, as an admin. All right. So if you are uh, an admin, and then uh, your concern is, uh, uh, perhaps your concern is how you roll out the updates to everyone, right? So yeah, uh, the answer to that because, is uh, just because uh, not only me, so everyone can view the updates and see the uh, updated features. Uh, for, for example, the 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 video a uh, three by three or seven by seven mm -hmm. um because we we still yet to see the new features and yep. some other uh features as well so 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 how can i apply this okay so uh uh anyway if you are uh end user meaning that you are uh, the user of the microsoft teams right these features is uh, by right is automatically rolled out to everyone. So if you are the end user, you no need to do anything. All right. If you turn off your laptop or your PC and then you open up on the next day, uh, actually in the background, the Microsoft Teams will uh, running uh, the updates by its own. But uh, in case you want to make sure you uh you have the updates as soon as possible you can do so by manually clicking on your icon and uh, click the the updates function so that you have the updates ready for you but anyway you don't need no need to do anything for for a large scale of uh, user you don't need to 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 go to one person to another person just to make sure they are on update uh, so yep. uh, somehow a user can do by uh, by themselves, right? They they no need to do every anything. Oh, okay, okay. B yes. By default, it's happening. Okay. Yes, by okay. default, just, it's just happening. Just uh, curiosity. Okay, thank yes. you. All right. Do anyone have any questions so far? Uh, perhaps on the SharePoint, but. And the Power Automate, uh, Shepon Workflow 2013 and 2010. All right, uh, so if anyone don't have a question, uh, okay, uh, let me share with you our upcoming event or, or session that will be conducted in August 2020. So uh, on next month, uh, we will be focusing on utilizing your Microsoft OneDrive for business. So in this session, uh, we will go through uh, with you uh, the two situations, perhaps uh, in the admin point of view and also as end user point of view. So uh, it's a uh, it's a short training, so called as training. Uh, we will be uh, exploring together uh, what is the features that that uh, inside OneDrive, but but you don't utilize it very well. So we will touch and and share with you as much as 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 possible on on that particular session to make sure as at mean uh, and also as end user you know and understand the full capabilities uh, of microsoft onedrive so that you can deliver the same message to your environment uh, to, to make sure uh, you can increase your overall productivity and and the main objective is fully utilize the the microsoft onedrive for business because uh, we can see uh, uh, from 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 feedback from our customer and from everyone, uh, uh, how I use this one, how how uh, uh, Microsoft uh, OneDrive will benefit for us. And then when we started to sharing, and then they start wondering, oh, I don't know this features is inside OneDrive. So yeah, the objective is uh, to make sure you understand the full capabilities and you can utilize it to ensure you can boost up your productivity for your uh, everyone in your organization. All right. 